Chat, we are starting off with a revaz of the claw deck here. Add two mana and any combination of colors to your mana pull to cast dragon creature spells. You get to cast dragons from your graveyard. It's a 3 3 with menace. We're going to use this to splash on in Rith, the liberated primeval here at the top end. We've also got a bunch of triomes and other miscellaneous duels in our base red black to try and uh, uh, facilitate this splash as well. We've also got some Fable of the Mirror Breaker here to make treasures. And then we've got a smattering of interactive bits and proactive two drops along with some other dragons and some Elder Dragon War to, uh, to round things out. Let's pop on into some games with this and see how our first standard rotation uh, matches go. All right. Matchup number one, the Play Blade, best of three, standard ranked, four color Rith. I believe we have successfully Play Bladed. You know, I was wondering why the Green Chef promo used the code uh, POGJEFF135 as the signup code because it seemed kind of strange. But seeing the number of people that commented on that code, it, it makes perfect sense now. I understand and they were correct to do so. Ooh, we do have animations on these now. Our big and fancy chip. Two drop for the second turn. Sounds lovely. Ow. Yurst me? I expect people to buy me dinner before they do that, but I guess we'll make an exception for our opponent here. We can just try another Fable. Feels like whatever we cast isn't resolving. on that is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill their underdog here. Raised our corpses here. Currently have white for Rith yet. Probably want one of these marches for gaining some life down the line. Shame we missed on a land there. just make a 4-4 here, which is kind of great. Ah, 
I think I'm... I think I'm doing this. Match one, game one, goody. Took us a little bit to get logged in and then, uh... Domain icon looks real slick here too. Nice visual indicator. have a removal spell, right? Because they didn't they didn't dash the firebrand? Unless they're just worried about their life total? Mmm, that's pretty good. Forgot Eevee was in this format. She's technically a red-black card, shit. This will definitely be a card we want to play with. Unfortunately, we are dead here. It's like we're probably on the defense here. Need to kill Eevee. I cut these firebrands. Couple of uh, meat hook massacres. I was able to get in. No, this is uh, actually a rerun. My favorite bond. Jeff hacked into Watsi, he stole the source code, compiled it locally, and set it up on his own server. Exactly. That's a chat. When logging in normally isn't an option, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll log in the two lander on the play, I think. Oh, I guess I'm actually supposed to lead on Proving Ground, huh? I 
kill their thing in a play pressure, I think. Although I guess killing their two drop means they get to corpse harvester on curve. Yeah, I mean, everybody's locked out until they aren't. What's going on, Kawan? Thanks for the 26 months. Welcome back. What are Magic Arena interfaces, chat? It's a question we may never know the answer to. I have to imagine the opponent's archetype is going to be pretty reasonable in this format. It's just like playing a bunch of good cards. It's pretty close to the shell. That did well at one of the tournaments last season. It didn't lose a ton with rotation. I guess trading with underdogs technically free there. test for the opponent's archetype is likely does it die to mono red is typically the question you need to you need to be able to ask yourself I'm kind of expecting there to be a mono red deck in this format based on what we've seen it says menace so it gets to attack into their harvester Heat hook feels like it could hold mono red back. Yeah, definitely. We're unfortunately losing our dragon here. This is the other side of, like, people are asking about cards like the new Lurgoyf and stuff like this and it activates value out of the graveyard. The question on these types of effects is definitely how much incidental graveyard heat is there in the format? J Dubs, thanks for the 22 months. Welcome back. Werewolf, Werewolf is still legal, right? That was an Innistrad card. The Innistrad sets are still legal. Yeah, Trespasser is the card I'm referring to when I say the werewolf. Uh, the graveyard hate werewolf, chat.
Well, our opponent actually missed lethal there because they could have dashed both of their things, but we take those, I guess. Was a solid drop, probably the best in our deck. Kills their Evelyn here and gains us a bunch of life. So, they're dead on board. This has Menace, and we have, uh, we have Dasher in the graveyard. Could draw a voltage surge here. Honestly, and chat, this is probably going to happen a lot with the decks that we build over the next little bit. I feel like I probably just want all my Meat Hook Massacres here, huh? Feels like I probably just want to be cleaning things out. March of Wretched Star was pretty good too, honestly. I'm going to a couple of these Harvesters. Let's wait and see where our standard ends up at before we do that, Pazipples. See, let's see if there's a mono red deck that can keep up with Meat Hook Massacre. I think I'd rather just have like lightning strikes. They kinda they kinda do the same thing, right? So I'm taking the hit for three here and then lightning striking this, because I don't want them to have the ability to corpse appraiser this turn for value. is my sequencing decision there. Yes, this is a game three. I 
All right, and then we're definitely reading ahead here. We start on chapter two. The question is, what do we want to get rid of? I think it might be everything but the meat hook, honestly. Evelyn disdainful stroke is pretty good. Voltage Surge hitting the dragon seems like whatever there because it was going to hit this otherwise, right? wide here a little bit. Hold on to the land, been to the fable. Oh, this is ours. It's like, how do they have two different cosmetics for the same card? Corpse Appraiser is a vampire for Evelyn, too. Yeah, it definitely feels like we're buried here. What's going on, Choice? Thanks for the 31 months. Welcome back. Up, gets rid of the disdainful stroke. Just gonna run in with these so we can cast the Rift, huh? So we need to turn off auto assigned combat damage, right? So I can assign two damage to this first spirit to make a four form. Did you have to deal excess damage to a creature or planeswalker to get that trigger? And don't a lot of people are gonna get caught by that on this platform. Rip 
Earth is crazy. I think so. I think it might be crazy. Call me, maybe. My Twitch rep has confirmed that Twitch explicitly intentionally removed the ability to spend bits to vote extra in polls. I am finding out if they intend to return that feature or if they have just deleted yet another thing I used from the platform. Well, I think I'm into making them have it here. Why, why would they remove my ability to email my subscribers? You know, who knows? Uh, we played one match, Chaos Sniper. Thanks for the five months. I don't, I don't know why it was removed. I, I sent a message back asking if they plan to return that feature or not. Because we use it with some frequency here. No bit voting is an outrage. I have to spend them in funny numbers with chat messages. Yep. Chat, it is not even noon. Stop asking me shit. We haven't played any games yet. Calm down. This is match two with the first deck we played of the day. I don't have any opinions on anything. Just chill. Enjoy some games of magic. Take a deep breath. Ask me, ask me on like Wednesday next week for my opinions on formats and things. Until then, just chill. This trades with the tracker. Tap land works nicely with our two drop. Then we get to Moonvale next turn. We're used to you starting an hour earlier. It's often five matches into a deck. It's literally never five matches into a deck on release day when the client doesn't start patching till 10.30 and then frequently has hours worth of downtime. So you're wrong. Stop it. I think we double harvester here to get the blood tokens down so we can clean out the Olven World oddity next turn. This board has stabilized hard now. Back of our friend, the 4-4. I expect most multicolored decks to have at least four paint lands in them. I think you're definitely gonna see people trying to play a lot of them like their shock lands. Those people are gonna have be in trouble. My gut says uh, six pain lands is probably the ceiling. And a lot of a lot of decks that you could possibly want to play them in.
nothing, get our attack so no reason to give them more information. Yeah, this card hitting the opponent's face too is uh, definitely a choice for it. Seems real solid. Definitely want Infernal Grasp against their slightly bigger deck. Speed cleans out their thing. I probably don't need to grind with Underdog. I think, I think I'm trimming this against Creature Decks. We're mostly pulling up. Yeah, Breed kills a lot of their stuff. I don't think they have quite enough small stuff to warrant bringing in extra marches, but I think having a couple of ways to gain life in the main deck sounds good. Hope, hopefully, the primary result of the Painlands existing will be that aggressive decks are a bit better than they have been in recent memory. Uh, I'm gonna keep this on the draw. cards and one mana doom blades chat name a more iconic duo infernal grasp looking real real medium here Korean, Korean Beast Caller, looking pretty impressive out of the opponent's archetype. Look at these incredibly playable cards, Chet. Just... Super castable, helps us stabilize the board. Yeah, black, black removal is in a little bit of a rough spot, huh? We'll be on the play for game three here at least, which is nice. I mean, I'm already playing Meat Hook, Time Lord. There aren't any flick. We, we took a look at it while building this deck. Two, two mana destroy things, basically. Don't exist. down considered people asking me if I thought about playing a removal spell that didn't kill any of the things that we were dying to is like peak magic arena chat come on chat be be better chat I know I know you're capable of being better 
I, I believe in you. And your ability to maybe evaluate cards slightly above where you're currently at. Tragic Slip. Well, there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. They broke my dragon's wings, Chet. Strike this one for now and chill on this. Still at 12, kind of a virtual 10. That's castable next turn, right? Broken wing should make a creature lose flying and then destroy it. That's a good. That's a good flavor judge ruling right there. Hey, right, they want to put me to three? Arch is our best possible draw here. That was mono green remove five fives, the fight spell they showed us last game. I think I'm just making a four four. They also showed us broken wings in this game. So at least trades these. Fight spells did rotate. They printed new ones. Hey, what's going on, KenX? Thanks for the big 4 0. Appreciate it. is about to kill us dead here, Chip. Say, uh, a large lad. Killed very, very dead. Defiler seems like a good card. Um, like any creature there was gonna kill us for the most part. That one, that one's pretty medium against Doomblade. Like, I think I'd like close their eyes and pick up, pick a large green thing that kills us there. I think Caretaker is probably pretty good. Hexproof on that is not nothing. Yeah, I think, I think all the defilers are probably on the not very good end of the, the spectrum.
What a weird kin trip. This is. This has got to be worse than Impulse, right? They, they must be playing a deck with artifact synergies. It's got to it's gotta be artifact synergies, right? So there's much better alternatives for a two mana cantrip in the format. I mean, even sacrificing this to Voltaic is like not particularly good. You like spent two cards to deal four at that point. Uh, Jawari is rotated. There is a counter unless you pay two. Missed the miscalculation. I think I didn't play this tap because I think this might be a spell. If you're asking why, the Proving Grounds is still in my hand. It's a good chance we cycle that one. Although I guess with Dragon War resolving this turn, we play it. So let's discard the forest now. What about their deck? Looks like a reanimator deck, Dietzel. What do you? What did you see that makes you jump to that conclusion? Rafine with little connivers. Okay, so connive doesn't automatically imply that they have like some kind of reanimation strategy though. Like what a, one of the great things about connive is it's just card smoothing. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly that. Rafine is just a good card. The Elder Dragon War is very good, Chet. Elder Elder Dragon War plus Fable of the Mirror Breaker are going to be a one-two punch that gives all of these red mid-range decks a lot of card selection. They just do, they do a lot. This card's probably worth testing in the mono red control deck. We played a bit of an explorer as well. It's like play fires and to play this on four is pretty decent. Okay, so speaking of fires continuing to be insane. We, uh, we target this with this. Pay the one. And the Dragon War finishes everything off. Also hits their face, because why not? It is the place, Jet. You want it to hit the face. Well, it makes a 4-4 at the end, too. 
Are there enough little creature to explore for the saga to be worth it? Well, that's the thing, right? It's not just about little creatures. You can also just like start on chapter two and smooth your hand and then make a four four. The, the power of an effect like this is in the flexibility. Yeah, exactly. It's a modal card. Yeah, yeah. It's also just like a 4-4 four, four flyer for four in a pinch. It's like, is this rate fine? Yes. Yes, it is. Definitely a meat hook matchup. Uh, probably an infernal grasp matchup. Strike seems not great here. I'm gonna bring in the extra wretcheds to be able to gain some life too in a pinch. They have done an excellent job with the newer game boards. Agree with that. This one is stellar. The pain land seemed to work with the auto tapper fairly eloquently, which is nice. Yes, we will get the other four pain lands in the next set, is the plan, shit. Why the 6-4 split? Why not the 6-4 split? Would you prefer a 5-5 five, five split? The, what's the problem with 6-4? Beefy! Thanks for 20 months. Welcome back. Yeah, they refuse to put all 10 duels in the same set, Kenex. I think symmetry is largely meaningless and I'd rather have more of them sooner. It's largely, largely my feelings on it. Chilling on this land for now. Yeah. 
Yes, vanishing verse rotating makes all of these mythic dragons out of Kamigawa run much better. All right, we're running back the harvester, tease up the elder dragon cleanup. So we're gonna test Liliana in Historic with Tarmogoyf next, I think. We probably wanna try some Elder Dragon Wars in that in that deck too, huh? What do we what do we think? This card this card's probably historic playable. Not not a full four, I don't think, but like a couple at the top. Oh, I don't have white mana. I just assumed I could make white mana chat. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. That's fine. We're still super far ahead, but. Maybe the pain lands make it an explorer. Probably not. Maybe, maybe inside of a two color aggro deck. Okay, so we'll actually now discard the Rift to the Blood Token because Revaz will let us recast Rift from the bin, which is nice. Oh, yeah, and there's a White Star, so I could have attacked for three. Whatever. We're stumble. We'll stumble into a win. And believe in us, chat. Loot reinforcement. It's gonna get us into a little bit of trouble, trouble on the ground with our revas. Hey, congrats on your new release, cans, right? Happy, uh, happy Thursday. Hope mom and baby are both feeling happy and healthy. Oh, well, this, well, this works out perfectly. Allow me to introduce you to my friend, Excess Damage. Opponent conceding there likely implies that they're not playing Meat Hook Massacre, which is probably a miss. So, after seeing how some of these games have played out, I think I'm gonna cut our. I think I'm gonna cut these two drops. Maybe maybe underdog is fine. I'm gonna cut that two drop at a minimum, and I'm gonna go to three march three meat hook main. So let's leave a couple underdog for now. But like even if we queue into control between four elder dragon war and four mirror breaker, we can like. Kind of sort through those pretty cleanly, right? Couple extra duress in the board. I 
couple of cut down in case we run into like some mono red or mono white or something. So we're gonna aggro deck. Well, you want to play Trespasser. Trespasser is a pretty generically good card. Hey, what's going on, Kenny? Folks like Kenny are the real MVPs, chat. 14 month sub, first time chatter. What's going on? This is our first deck. We're getting started a little bit late. Because arena patch days be like that. Seemed all right so far. I think the red black shell in standard is probably going to be pretty good. Do I want to fit in some graveyard trespassers? We have to have a lot of threes. Is the, is the problem. I'm worried about having too many threes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to chill on it for now. I haven't felt like I really needed graveyard hit yet. We'll see. That's definitely a card that, like, depending on how the format shapes up, you'll want to play a bunch of them. I'm gonna try to level up one drop. Does that turn into a 3-3 three, three at the first level? I'd be a little concerned about needing to level it twice uh, in order for it not to die to the Dragon War. Yeah, I think if it still dies to the Dragon War at the second level, it's kind of sketch. We actually didn't have to sit on an off screen for too long today, which is nice. Pretty, pretty lucky. All right, and just immediately queue into control and draw cards that we wish were three ones. Going on, Hushman. Chaos Naked Massacre? No? Wheel of Fortune! Well, that's why we're not playing a Naked Massacre out. It's like, we have infinite cards in our deck to let us discard and draw. I think the four mana dragons are really good. Shivan, Shivan Devastator is like, it fills your curve, but it's not really versatile. It does like exactly one thing, which is attack. I take a pioneer submission. Um, I would take a moto deck for a hundred dollars submission, but I would prefer to be allowed to adapt it to Explorer for a lower price. The asterisk would also be, if you did expect a moto submission, I probably won't get to playing it until, like, the end of next week or the week after. So I definitely want to focus on Arena while the new set is fresh here. Listen, Tefri, there's only one bully here. And it certainly isn't Blood Tithe Harvester. Only 
time will tell. I'm sure we're gonna say farewell to our board next turn, which will be sad, but this is the line. Okay, sweet, and I have eight mana here. So I get to go land into Revaz into Recast Rift. Depopulate does not exile, chat. I looked at what the auto tapper was doing before I cast my revaz, chat. Thought I thunk it through. Our deck is sweet. Maybe. I mean, like, we're like treading water here a little bit. But they got six cards in their hand, chat. A lot of a lot of stuff over there. Is there a Hoglandia open coming up? Uh, no. I was gonna respond with something sarcastic, but let's just go with no. Uh, Crokey's is running a tournament this weekend. If you're looking to play in some tournament magic, I would encourage you to sign up to play in Crokey's tournament. But he's, he's not even doing coverage for the entirety of his event, so... I think that kind of says all there is to say about the desire for magic coverage. Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. There you go, the one Jame. Jame, if you have a melee link, feel free to post it in chat. Star City Games is running a modern 20k tomorrow, and they currently have 27 people signed up to play in it. It's just like, I wonder how many people they're going to end up with in total, but the pre-registration is, uh, is rough. Very punished for playing that on Chapter 1. I guess these cycle manually still, but feels bad, man. What? 20K is only 10X the cost of a modern deck. That's true, you know. That's, that's true. So I thought that was the case as well, Seth, but I talked to my buddy Matt, who helps manage all of the Nerd Rage gaming tournaments and their coverage and stuff. And he said since Nerd Rage moved to using online signups for their tournaments with deck submission all being handled online, they've had a pretty significant increase in pre-registrations. So hopefully you're right and that doesn't translate here and they're gonna have good signups for their thing. But 20, 27 pre-registers is like not a, not a good, not a good sign to say the least. The, the nobody pre-registers here has big, we have a strong local legacy community vibes, and then like a legacy open happens, and like 200 people would show up or less. It's just like, mm. <laughs> yikes. We're holding on to these lands, because if we draw a uh, Dragon's War or a Fable of the Mirror Breaker, we might be able to cycle them into something else. Let your blade do the talking.
mean, I know playing against blue-white control is, like, always kind of a drag chat, but it, it is worth noting here that, like, we are kind of grinding successfully, right? The very, at the very least, we're treading some water here. I'm not I'm not happy or excited about it, but we continue to have have gas in the tank. It's like a little excess damage to me, yet. Are they a six sweep predict? They're probably not on four farewells, I imagine. If I had to venture a guess. Alright. Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen are uh, theoretically lethal here, so they have to trade with the 2 2, which means we get another dragon token from excess damage. And these both have wards, so they can't exile it with an Emperor here. And I think on the fact that they could have another sweeper here, we just chill, right? I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, I agree. The excess damage text is a really neat design space. I like it a lot. Okay, so meat hooks are coming out. Lightning strikes are coming out. Duresses and Lilianas and Sorins are coming in. Gonna split these three three because these finished their planeswalkers, which is nice. Newcomb, thanks for the 15 months. Welcome back. And Uberg, UBRG, thanks for the thanks for three quarters of a year. Happy Dominaria Day. Is combat excess damage or in general? Combat can equate to excess damage if you over over dealt damage. Yes, Rith, Rith triggers on any excess damage, whether it's combat or otherwise. If you deal if you dealt more than you need to, you get a you get a 4-4. Four four. How does excess damage work with trample? So you choose how you assign damage. So if you want to trigger excess damage with a trample creature, you can, but you'll need to turn off auto assign combat damage in Magic Arena in order for that to be a possibility as well. And I turned that off earlier today. I think I want to duress on one, and then we'll just like draw untapped land and curve out.
get a dash her in under dissipate here. What's going on, Daniel Rager? Thanks for hanging out for almost three years. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. A refreshing lack of Jawari disruption. Yes. Take all the counter unless I pay ones and get them out of here. Need some land drops. Okay. Saying there's a chance. just kill this this way if we uh spike the fable the mirror breaker we can cast it on empty board so happy to play an underdog of our own Pelatus. voltage surge sure There be dragons. Give them the claw. Given the option I block here. What ward shit? We have some card advantage going by recasting from the bin, but our opponent could end up tempoing us out of this game. Pretty similar Q times, Kraken. Alchemy, Alchemy is kind of the odd man out as far as Alchemy is kind of the odd man out as far as uh, dim, uh, stuff is concerned. In terms of popularity. Shieldred is just huge now. He's really hoping to draw a black card to march Shieldred. Yeah, killing Shieldred without getting an excess damage trigger seems not great though.
in the beginning of my end step, unfortunately. What's going on, Kraken? Pick a hawk. Thank you for the 53 months. Welcome back. a little too long there. You need, you need another black card to be able to take that shield out of play. You're definitely tall, not wide. Meat Hook seems less exciting. Infernal Grass seems fine. I think I want the extra march as well. Um, Veil as an Edict might be fine. Let's try this. I wonder if cut down is supposed to come in because it cleans out uh cut down exiles their blitz dorko. Maybe that's supposed to supposed to come in because of that. Oh, it does tag Helena too to start, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, cut down should definitely be in my, my 60 right now. We'll fix that for the third game. He said optimistically before he mulligans into nothing. Okay, Jetmere's Garden is better than a full brick, I suppose. It does not cast Leon in the veil, though. It's notable. That one well in a little bit. Hey, thanks for the thanks for the year and change, Coach Dad. Morning, morning. Yeah, it's kind of strange that some of the triumphs got animations and some did not. Children is very good against our, our red card filtering, that's for sure. Our opponent is a very charming individual. And then, yeah, this is, uh, you know, an aspect we talked about. This type of effect, if it's uh, super popular, this uh, means a bad time for uh, trying to get value out of our graveyard. That's a, uh, that's a large lad, chip. Can you believe the audacity of our opponent playing all of these good cards? Guess we'll edict their tracker off the board. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch my things. Ah, one of your friends has to leave. I 
guess... I guess I could do this now, right? to get voltage surged. keep coming and they don't stop coming we're gonna hit the ground running shit their jun deck definitely seems better than ours all right so riff Wraith was super reasonable the few different times we got it into play. Uh, I don't know about the details and stuff, obviously. Like, for people that aren't familiar with how to evaluate stuff in new formats, a lot of decks, especially these kind of mid-range and control decks, like, getting the details right depends on context and, like, having a metagame shape up a little bit. So it's hard to say whether or not something as a whole is good. But overall... Uh, both Elder Dragon War and Rith really impressed me individually as cards. And I think these are definitely things I'm keen to try inside of other shells. This shell as a whole felt functional. We cast our spells and like played reasonable games of magic, but ultimately power level, who knows. All right, 